Let the holiday madness begin. What is up, everybody? It's Chris from Cardboard Crazies here, and we've got a weekend video. My wife and I spent a lot of the morning and this afternoon getting stuff to prepare a home for Christmas. Living in a new house, apparently you have to have new decorations. So we've been getting prepared, and while we were out, we just happened to stop at Ollie's. What could I have gotten at Ollie's? It has to do with my channel. You got it. Mystery bags. So anyways, I am going to open these. Hopefully this will be fairly quickly. Hopefully we won't get another Hope comic book because we've got four of them. One of them is going to be in the bag or the box of, with the blind bag that I'm giving away this coming Monday on live stream. So you don't want to miss that. Be there, be square. All right. So first bag, this is just a mixed lot. Um, here you go. Comic book, super value pack. Boom. All right. So in this bag, we have Star Wars issue number five. The, in, the Empire is one step ahead. We've got Han and Chewie on the front of it. Then we have a bagged and board comic, boarded comic. We have from Epic Comics, Dread Star and Company number two. Then we have BPRD, Hell on Earth. Uh, this is issue number 123. Is this the from the movie that Ryan Reynolds was in? I can't remember. BPRD. Bureau for Paranormal Research and Defense. I think this is, but I can't remember to save my life. Ryan Reynolds has unfortunately been in so many unforgettable movies that I forget which ones he's been in. Okay. Um, next we have the Victorian source book. This is number one. I've gotten a few of these before. The artwork looks really cool. I've not read any of them. They've just kind of sat in a box of indie books that I have. Um, so, you know. Next, we have a Dynamite comic. This is Prince Valiant, number one. I remember Prince Valiant from when I was a kid. I think there was a cartoon of Prince Valiant. Um, there's not much to this comic book. It looks like it might be about 10 pages. And the rest of it's like advertisements and stuff. <clears throat> then we have Zendra, number three. I'm going to go with well, number two that I got last time. Next, we have a Halloween comic, fa Halloween comic Fest. Action Lab presents Monster Dojo, The Miraculous Ladybug, Ghoul Scouts, and Puppet Master. Probably give that to my daughter because it's got Miraculous Ladybug in it, but I'm a little hesitant because of puppet master um the movie scared the daylights out of me when i was a kid all right next we have an um, image comic this is wild star number four uh gordon and ordway wrote this did this so this one looks to be a little bit older it has a super nintendo advertisement on the back of it and it is a oof an Ultraverse comic book. This is Hard Case number three. And then the last book in this blind bag uh, is a Marvel comic. This is Silver Surfer number three. This is the direct edition, not the newsstand. Okay. On to Mystery Bag number two. Let's do... Uh, we'll do the one that was similar to the last one we just did because I've got a couple. One one is different than what I usually find at Ollie, so I'm kind of intrigued by it. 
Um, perhaps we'll do this bag, this video. Um, maybe, if I can get into it. Oh, there we go. No, that was the sticker. Okay. The sticker was holding the bag together. All right, we're in. Here we go. We have an all-star Batman number eight. This is a cardstock cover. Um, don't know if this is a variant cover or not, but all-star Batman number eight. We have Harold. Lovecraft, Lovecraft and Tesla, Bundles of Joy, number two. This is an Action Lab comic. Neat little Dark Crystal advertisement on the back of it, though. Uh, we have a bagged and boarded Supreme. This is number two. It's a really cool cover. Very colorful, very 90s, late 80s look to it. Speaking of Victorian, we have number 10. And of course, we get our Zendra complimentary comic. Uh, this is number one, actually. So now we have one, two, and three. If you're a Zendra fan, let me know. Okay. We have Michael Turner's Fathom. Number six, this is cover A. I feel like I should have a black bar right here. We have a Dark Horse Classic comic, C. Vess's The Book of Night, number one, suggested for mature readers. I see why now. There is a naked wolf butt in there. Then we have a free book. This is Superman Special Edition number one, like the 14,652nd one of these that we've gotten. Then we have, with an Avengers Endgame ad on the back of it, Marvel War of the Realms Giant Man number two. Pretty nice art on the cover of that. And the last book is Deadpool, number 23. Okay. Two more bags to go through. This is another one like the ones that I just opened. Um, we're almost guaranteed a Victorian in this. A Zendra. We almost know for a fact there's going to be a Zendra and a Victorian. Some kind of weird book. Alright. We have Comico Johnny Quest number nine. Uh, Johnny Quest was such a stereotypical in my opinion, racial cartoon. <coughs> Here we have Ultraverse Prime, number 13. Bagged and boarded. Executive Assistant Iris, The Hit List Agenda, issue four of five. This is an Aspen comic, but they went way above and beyond to try to make that look cool. And in my opinion, it's just way too busy. Um, here we have Action Verse. This is an Action Lab comic uh, featuring the first hero, number one. 
Man. New Dimension Comics. Okay. Here we have N Decoy, number three. If you like these weird books, let me know. I might be able to send... Oh, my God. I might be able to send a few of them your way. Here we go. We have Scott Clark and Trevor Scott's Stormwatch, number one. I knew it was coming, guys. Knew it was coming. It's not like we don't have enough of these already. Here we have Hope, number one. Again. 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 It's like our 12th copy of it. I'm going to start using this fire, firewood, something like that. Um, here we have a limited series, New Warriors, number three of six. Really cool cover. Um, don't know who did the cover on this. Let me look real quick. Cover was by... Wow, that's the Scotty Young cover. Maybe an earlier Scotty Young. Um, this was from 2005. So that would probably be an earlier Scotty Young cover. Or at least an earlier Marvel Scotty Young cover. Oh, this one's cool. We have a WWE comic. Number 19. With my dude, Kevin Owens on the front. And his butthole partner at the time, Sami Zayn. I love some Kevin Owens. Fight, fight Owens, fight. It's a pretty cool cover, look. I hate Sami Yeah, Sami Zayn's a douche. I'm uh, sorry. Tool bag. He's a deep canoe. <laughs> and Sami Zayn, if you ever watch this, I would tell you, you're a deep canoe. You want to wrestle? <laughs> um, here we have Avengers versus X-Men. This is round eight with a fiery Namor on the front, which is kind of funny because you would think if Namor was around fire, it would suffocate him, but eh, who, who am I kidding? And then the last one, this is different than the other ones because it's like one of the stranger, um, older looking ones. So I got this. I don't know what's going to be in it. It's probably going to be a big pile of doo-doo, but we'll see. <laughs> Speaking of big piles of doo-doo, uh, here we have a Topps comic. Oh, with a collector trading card in it. We have Night Glider, <laughs> number one. It's a Jack Kirby book. <laughs> Night Glider, with your official Night Glider trading card. That's worth all of one penny. Here we have images of Shadowhawk, number one, with a very bloody cover that is hard to make out. If you can make that out, I know that it's got some sewer pipes and Shadowhawk in the back, but... Hmm. Here we have a DC comic that I've never heard of, Guns of the Dragon, number four. Probably stopped at issue five. We have a Turok the Dinosaur Hunter, number four. I have heard of Turok, but not because of comic books. Because of, uh, whatchamacallit, Nintendo 64. Uh, here's, this one's pretty cool. This is Spectacular Spider-Man, number two. With a really gruesome looking ven venom in it. Game GameCube advertisements galore in this. With, oh man, does anybody remember this cereal? Leave in the comments below if you remember this cereal. Strawberry and normal flavored honeycomb cereal. I don't remember this, but it looks good. All right, here we have 
Trinity of the Trinity of Sin, Pandora, number one. Another DC comic that I've never heard of. Maybe I need to stop on these. <laughs> um, here we have Convergence, the Titans. This is issue number two. Now I do know who these are. I do know who these people are. So that's a that's a plus. Okay. Okay, I hear you, comic value pack. We have a Buffy the Vampire Slayer, season nine, issue number 19. So I'm only eight seasons and 18 issues behind, but hey, who's counting? We have Superman, number 85, from January of 1994. It's a Dan Jurgens Jerg and Joe Rubenstein cover. Uh, Kevin, here's your ruby. I'm sure he probably did the inks on this, and Jurgens did the rest of it. And then finally, we have... <laughs> Wah, 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 wah. Impact Comics, issue number four of The Comet with a Three Musketeers advertisement on the back. Let me see if there's anybody in this that looks vaguely familiar as far as who did it, what happened, why they did it. Um, looks like that's going to be, be a big old bucket full of nope. Got some pretty cool movie advertisements. The first Adams Family movie is in here. I remember that from when I was slightly older than being a kid. Smash TV for the Nintendo is in here. So, yeah. Um, let me know if you're interested in any of those books. We might be able to work something out. Anyways, I hope that you had fun watching this. As much fun as I did having opening this uh, bucket full of sadness. Let's take a moment to, to uh, remember, remember our fallen comrades. All the comics we didn't get. No Hulk 80, 181. No Amazing Fantasy number 15. Okay, I'm done sulking. Uh, anyways, uh, don't forget my giveaways that I've got going on. Um, I, you know, I do this same spill every time I do a video. I will be doing a live stream Monday at 7 uh, Eastern Standard Time to give away the blind box or the blind bag that I got from Ollie's about a month ago. Um, I have some throw-ins that I'm putting in, and I'm also going to be giving away one extra thing during that live stream for one lucky person, and uh, you definitely don't want to miss that. Also have uh, the 500 subscriber giveaway. Uh, Remy Q Studios, go over and give his channel a like and a subscribe. He's doing a 300 subscriber video or giveaway from my channel where 300 subscribe a random person from my 300 subscribers will win a slab of your choice from his selection of slabs. Wow, that was a tongue twister. Um, anyways, if I don't get to do a video before Thursday of this week, Please, um, I hope that you all have a great uh, Thanksgiving. I hope that you're blessed. I hope that you get to spend time with your families. I know that the circumstances are a little different this year than they normally are. But, you know, I, I just hope and pray that you guys um, have a blessed Thanksgiving and enjoy it as much as you possibly can. Thank you for watching this video. Hit that bell notification up in the corner um, if you are so inclined so that you get notifications when I upload new content. Please, if you're so inclined, like, comment, or subscribe. Be a blessing to somebody today. Most importantly, I hope that you are blessed. If we don't see you before then, we'll see you next time. Yep. That's sadness in a pile. With the comet on the front. <laughs>